Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my February favourites. Um, now, February was quite a hard month for me. I um, lost my grandma. She sadly passed away on the 14th of February. Um, so I haven't really tried anything new or anything. I don't know if you're like me, but when a family member dies, um, I kind of it's like, I don't know, I kind of shut myself down, I don't bother trying anything new and things, so um, not that that happens very often, but that's what's happened this time, so there's not really anything new or exciting that I've tried this month, um, but I wanted to share with you the things that I've been reaching for and that I've used a lot this month, so it's not a massive February favourite, but yeah <laughs> i hope you enjoy the video anyway i'm gonna start with the bag that i've been using every single day the bag is oh i don't know if i just shook the camera mm. um the bag is from h&m it is this one um that's not that is a fossil bag tag thing but it was really cute so i put it on you can see it <laughs> um my friend gave me that one uh yes yeah, so the bag was 15 pounds and it's absolutely huge now i'm a massive fan of designer bags like i'd much rather uh, save up my money and buy like a designer bag but um, I was getting to the point where all my designer bags are like the same size and I just shove everything in it and then it kind of stretches the leather which I really wasn't enjoying and it's not what I want to do when I'm like spending money on a bag so I found this one in H&M and for £15 is perfect as my everyday work bag and it literally fits everything in it and then some. If you want to do me to do a what's in my bag video, I can do, I've done them before. Um, but there's so much stuff, look how big it is! And it's not even half full and there's so much stuff, there's like pockets inside and yeah, I just thought perfect for my work bag for 15 quid, can't really go wrong there. Uh, did I say it was from H&M? It's from H&M. Classic, massive bag and I love it. The next thing I've been using a lot is my Sensation Sensationale? Yeah, Sensational Gel Nail Kit. I got this for Christmas. If you watched my What I Got For Christmas video, you will know that. Um, it's just like the UV lamp um, and it comes with like all of the things so you can do your gel nails. The one I've got on at the minute is the Black in Midnight. Um, there's something about black nails that I really, really like. I don't know why, but I do. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, so I've been absolutely loving this. The nail polish does stay on for two weeks. And I mean, I work in a jewellery shop, so I'm fiddling around with tiny little pieces like clasps and things like that all the time. Um, and they're just as hard as rock. Like, they're so, so good. And if you're like me, and um, if I've got normal nail polish on and one chips, like, they all have to come off. Like, my nails have to look perfect or there's nothing there at all. If you're like me and you like to go out and pay to have your nails done and it can cost you a fortune over time, I seriously, seriously recommend getting the Sensation Nail Gel UV Lamp. I think it's a UV lamp. It's an LED lamp, not a UV lamp. Same kind of thing, I think. It's from Boots, and I think full price, it's £70. But if you watch my Christmas video, you will know that I got this for um, £35.99. So they do have offers on. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And also their nail polishes have offers on as well. I mean, I got the... Uh, Barely There, which is like a really, really neutral colour. It's like a French manicure pink, but I wear it when um, I'm just kind of trying to grow and strengthen my nails, it's perfect for that, and then the midnight one, they're normally £15 each, but I got these for £3.75, because they were on offer, so bargain, um, and I just thought I'd share, this is my other favourite colour, it's called Scarlet Red, and it's literally like your classic bright red, and I love it, and this is my go-to colour, like if I just want to paint my nails and I don't know what colour to go to, it's always this Scarlet Red, and I love it. Next thing I've been kind of obsessing over this month is marble things. I mean, I don't have anything that's marble, but like marble is my phone background. I've just ordered a phone case that's marble. Um, I'm seriously thinking about putting like marble toppers on my bedside tables. Let me know what you think that would look like. Uh, and yeah, I'm just kind of obsessed. I want to get a marble case for my laptop. Like, not quite sure what it is. I just think it looks quite classy and nice, and it just finishes something off, but it's not too like overpowering. Like, I think sometimes you can get a really bold um, pattern that can just ruin something. But marble just works. I've got a Pinterest board dedicated to just marble things. I think my Pinterest is linked down below, by the way. If you don't follow me on Pinterest, head over there. I'm a little bit addicted to it. I'm always pinning things on there. Leave me your Pinterest links down below as well because I'm obsessed. Um, lastly, I wanted to end this video with um, 
family. My family is definitely one of my biggest favourites and it's been a very hard month for my family this month and I just wanted to share two things that really made me smile this month to do with my family and apart from seeing them of course obviously the reason not being the greatest um, but it was really nice to see all of my family. These two things really really made me smile. Now we went up and it was um, my dad's mum that passed away. Um, they were all from Huddersfield and um, so we went up to see that side of the family and I haven't seen them for a really long time so it was, it was really nice to see them all and to catch up and my childhood is with that side of the family like we would go up every Christmas um, and summer holidays for like weeks to two weeks and there's so many like fun memories with that side of the family. So seeing them was definitely definitely an all-time favourite this month and I really want to see make sure I can go up there a lot more often and we don't get up there enough and I really want to see my family a lot more um, but also my mum's side of the family is from Lancashire so we also popped over there um, to see them and um, while we were there my cousin's new baby girl was born um, little Lexi, if you follow me on Instagram you will have seen a picture of her she was five days old when I saw her and she is absolutely adorable and her hair is incredible like she was born with loads and loads of hair and it's like quite dark but then on the end she's got like white blonde highlights has anyone else seen a baby that was born with highlights? Because that's new to me. Yes, yeah, so we went over there to see them and my other cousin's little boy, Eddie, who is now 15 months old, was doing painting um, before we got there and <laughs> they gave us little this little picture here and it says, Love Eddie, age 15 months. And you can kind of make out little footprints and handprints on. Um, but this just made me really smile. Like, I love getting little keepsakes and things from family and then you always have that memory when you look at it look at it do you know what I mean like from that day like seeing everyone and yeah it was just really nice like I think I'll always look at this picture and just think like it's the first day I met Lexi my mum's mum so my other grandma um, is one for little trinkety things like she loves picking up little trinkety things and she gave me this little plaque um, which nearly made me cry uh, it says a granddaughter makes the sunshine a little brighter the world a little warmer and the day a whole lot happier and it's just really sweet and I think is what I needed while we were away. Tender loving hair. <laughs> I'm very sensitive. So yeah, this just made me smile and I love, love little things like this. Anything that's got like a really happy like saying or phrase on it, I absolutely love and I'm obsessed with them and I just want loads and loads of picture frames all over my wall with like motivating quotes and um, happiness quotes and things like that. So I absolutely love this and it sits, I've got a shelf just up there and it's going to sit up there. Family is my February top favourite. Okay that's everything for my February favourites, um, nice and short for you. <laughs> yeah I just kind of wanted to finish the video off just by saying like treasure your family, tell them you love them every single day like if you haven't seen or spoken to your family for a while give them a call, just pick up the phone and give them a ring or send them a text or do something because life's really short and you don't know what it's going to throw at you so don't hold back just do it. Um, if you didn't watch um, last week's video which was like a vlog Sunday is my new upload day um, Sunday at 7pm I'm going to trial for now I might change the time, I'm not too sure but um, I've always uploaded at 7pm before so that's where I'm going to stick at for now let me know what you think of that I don't know about you but I tend to find that I watch more videos on a Sunday evening just because like it's a short day at work you have more time um, if you're working, if you're not working like Sunday's kind of your chill day usually with like the heavy night before uh, so yeah I, don't, I just thought I'd it, sat, it seems silly me uploading on a day that I wouldn't normally watch a video whereas Sundays I would watch videos without fail so yes let me know what you think to that thank you so much for watching and subscribing if you're new it really really does mean a lot I'm absolutely loving this whole YouTube journey um, I'm just really excited as to where it's going to take me, hopefully. Um, but yes, I will see you in my next video. If you're not subscribed already, please, please do subscribe so you don't miss another video. And all my other social media links are down below, like Twitter, Facebook. My blog is also there, although I have neglected it recently. Bad blogger. Um, Instagram is also down there. I think Pinterest, if not, I will have added it by now. So yes, Pinterest is down there too. Um, I will see you in my next video. Bye!